No, because she fluffed for me. <laughs> I had to give her three bucks out of my pocket. You made it rain? Yeah. Oh my God. I did. Oh God. Games that are going to go up in price in the future. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, blood. blood. Today we're going to talk about the Wii, uh, one of the highest selling consoles of all time. It also had hundreds of shovelware games, dog And I'm not going to mention all the top dog games because anyone can go to VGPC, price high to low, and see what games are rare for the system. And yes, typically games that are rare and expensive for the system are going to continue to go up in price, but I kind of want to focus on games that are $50 or less that I think are rare and will Go up, go up in price in the future. And also, I do not think games, newer gen games, are gonna go up like the older gen games, just because people have gotten savvy that there are collectors and games can be valuable. So people buy them sealed, keep them, stockpile them, and they're mass produced, unlike some of the older gen games. So I don't think any of these games are gonna go through the roof, but it's still something that's kind of first game on my list. And my list doesn't necessarily go in order of what games I think are rare, but they kind of do, but they kind of don't. So it is what it is. And the first game for Wii is Beans Wacky World. This is a red wagon game and it was released in 2011. Who's gonna buy Bean in 2011? But it is a rare game and you can currently get them. There's a guy on Amazon selling them brand new sealed, free shipping I believe for $49.99, 50 bucks, something like that. So it's a little expensive, but factory sealed, 50 bucks. Bean. Next game on my list, uh, another Red Wagon game, and also uh, Red Wagon in general. I think they had six, seven games. I went ahead and got all the games that they developed. Just they're cheap, and this is probably the only game on the list that I would actually play. I remember playing this in high school, or not high school, in grade school all the time. I'd always ford the rivers, drown, and die from disease, but. Oregon Trail. Uh, not, not, not many of these were made, nor were any games from Red Wagon, but I believe that Beans Wacky World and Oregon Trail are the two that you want to get that are going to go up in price. The next game on my list, again, the developer, um, a very limited release for all their titles. I believe they have six or seven, and they're mostly racing games, all released in 2011, but it is Crash Car Racer by Maximum Family Games. And I don't necessarily think this is the rarest of the bunch. I think Super Truck Racer probably is. Where you're on some big rigs and you're racing around, something like that. I don't have the game, but I do have Crash Car Racer. But any of those games, like I said, I think there's seven of them. Maximum Family Racing were all limited releases, all fairly cheap. And I think that they're all gonna go up in price eventually. Damn, Daniel! Next game on the list, Personal or my personal golf trainer. I do not know much about this game. I just know that it is extraordinarily rare. It looks stupid. And actually this was never, uh, this never was released to like mainstream stores, Walmarts, Targets, Best Buy, whatever. So I'm assuming that it was online sales only or through special retail stores, golf stores, something like that. But not many of these games were made, not many were sold, and it is very, well, fairly hard to find today. My personal golf trainer. Next game on the list has a little backstory. It's uh, officially the second to last game for the Wii library, and that is Let's Sing 2016. And yes, this is the only Wii game with nudity in it. Hell yeah. The backstory to this game was it was recalled off of shelves and it was extremely hard to find for months. But then somebody got a hold of a bunch of them and they started to be sold on eBay, Amazon. And it's still a fairly hard game to find, um, all things considered. Maximum games, I believe this thing is just gonna creep up in price. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna pop her open. See some babies. So these next three games are, I wouldn't say extremely hard to find, but for a system that was mass produced, these games are hard to find for the Wii system, the library. I'm gonna butcher this, but 
Lucha Libre Heroes del Ring. Uh, only released in Mexico. This never got an official US release. So if you want to find one of these puppies, you're going to need a collector in the States or you're going to have to order one on eBay from Mexico. That's where I got mine at. But extremely rare, uh, very limited release in Mexico as well. Lucha Libre. Sing, sing, sing. My second to last game on the list from Slang, the Slang Company. I'm gonna butcher this one as well. It was only released in Mexico. Never got a US release. Atraveta Sonar, yeah? It actually came with a mic in a big box. I don't have that. I do, well, I do have the mic here, but I don't have the big box. This one is extremely hard to find online. Very, very hard game to find. And I believe this game's gonna go up a lot in price. Last but not least, this next game could actually be rare. We don't know. And I have a place where you could get it very cheap and get ahead of the curve. But the game is Disney Violetto Rhythm and Music by Little Orbit. And I'm assuming that that's a Latin American Disney show. Um, never was released anywhere. It got pulled off the shelves just days or weeks before it was supposed to be released. It wasn't heard from for a while and somehow, some way, someone got some copies and is selling them on eBay. I don't know, and we don't know if that's a pallet of 5,000 copies or he has a case of 50 or 100. But this game you can get right now on eBay, Violetta, Rhythm and Music, sealed for 40, like 42 bucks free shipping. Uh, I'm so convinced that this game's probably gonna be rare down the line that I purchased two copies, but there's a possibility there's only like a hundred of these out there, um, unless there's thousands in a warehouse somewhere and that gets released in the future. But hey, this game isn't even on a lot of lists for complete Wii collections. 40 bucks, Violetta, Rhythm and Music. All right, those are some games that I think are gonna go up in price. These newer gen games, I don't see being stupid prices down the line like some of the older generation cart games super nintendo nintendo what have you but it's still fun to get these while they're cheap thrill of the hunt getting ahead of the curve and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more let me know what system and i will do my darndest to find some games or my knowledge which is not very much but find some games that are cheap for the system now that you can get ahead of the curve just let me know <laughs> oh my god. Holy <laughs>